beautiful summer morning and I closed the gate yesterday to the crawl so that I could get my cattle this morning hopefully they will be thirsty and to my surprise they were all here rather early um, just after seven and I've been looking for mothers that have calved and etc etc and finally I've got them all here I believe they all of them I haven't did a total tally yet of this herd anyway bunch of newcomers have arrived and um, what I'm really going to be looking at this this time around in this clip is oh, the reproductive potential of the Nguni here in the bush felt and a bunch of these calves are calves from early calvers and what I'm wanting to highlight or point out is how many cattle, if you took one cow that was truly a productive cow and could replicate herself, and how many would there be 10 years from now if all of her offspring uh, were to replicate herself uh, in her production and and that would be assuming that there was a 50 50 percent um, sex ratio of her offspring so what I've done and it is amazing to see what uh, the difference is if a cow calves at two years of age and has a, and replicates herself in other words her offspring also replicates herself versus a cow that will that only calves at three years of age now a lot of people choose to only put their bull with their heifers when their heifers are about 18 months or older so that there is sufficient development and that they're better positioned to be able to carve more successfully. And what I have found is that um, I found heifers that have carved early and been able to reconceive, been able to produce milk, been able to raise a calf successfully. And then I found those that haven't. And obviously that's a selection criteria. But I've also found that with heifers that have only got to the bull much later and only calved for the first time at three years of age. So I did the math on three calving at three years of age versus calving at uh, two years of age. And that's with the assumption that that cow is able to replicate herself in her offspring. So what have we got here? I took one cow, this old cow over there, and I brought the progeny of hers that I have here in this herd. Now, I do have some other progeny of hers in our other herd, and I've also sold a bunch of her progeny. And I'll tell you what, whoever's got any of her progeny, um, when they see this, they're going to be very excited about her progeny. So here we have a 2008 cow. And she's been a highly productive cow. She's got her calf line here in the corner there. The light is not right, but um, her calf is here in the corner. Number 180. That is one of her granddaughters there with her calf. Now her granddaughter calved, in fact she's a 2023, she calved in less than 24 months. 
right there at 24 months. Here's another one of her granddaughters who also has calved in less than 24 months. Now I will say we had a good rainy season last year and uh, conditions have been have been great. There's two of her grand granddaughters both with calf at foot. That other one's calf is right here. And then great grandmother's with them with her calf at foot. So we're very excited about that. Now if I look at this heifer on the on the right, 23.99. Her mother also coughed at 24 months and her mother's right here. With Her most recent calf Hey my girl, well done you, you've done well And her previous calf is there Now her previous calf is not a year old yet Not yet one year old And there is her sister I'm excited about that Simply because of the reproduction trajectory that seems to be, be happening here. So my girl, I want to have a better look at you. Because you've got a baby sister now and you're not even a year old. Look at you. So if I look at this heifer, and I'd, I'd like to have a better look. I'd like the sun to be better, better light and everything. But... Isn't this what a yearling looks like? That is on a calf at two years of age. So in a year's time, just working on the trajectory of of this old cow that and her progeny. It's not an, an unrealistic expectation for me to expect her to be calving also, just like her mother, her grandmother, and the rest of her family, to also carve at two years of age. And when I say two years of age, it might be 26 months. I must be looking at a functionally efficient cow or heifer, a yearling that's functionally efficient, that's well developed. Obviously, he's still gonna develop some more. Provided the conditions are right and provided I manage my herd correctly, I guess. And that nothing, there's no curveball thrown in, turtle spinner thrown into the works. Hey, you got a dirty nose. You need to ask your mommy to clean your nose. Anyway, that's. So we started with that brown heifer, carved at 23 months, and we went to her mother. We did look at her great grandmother. Now what I'd like to do is look at this cow's mother because this is now replication that we are looking at. We saw the heifer. She, this cow's obviously repli replicated herself in that heifer. Who, by the way, let's just have a look. It's got a beautiful udder. Calf is healthy. I mean, there's the other there. She's just moved her leg. <laughs> and what's also exciting is, come, get up. Let's have a look at you. They have this. Look at that other. There's nothing wrong with that other. Look at that one there too. Absolutely, for a first-time carver, at 24 months of age. Absolutely nothing wrong. So, yeah, we're going to go across to this cow's mother. My 
My girl, I'd like to have a look at you. Yeah, we want to have a look at you because your daughter and your granddaughter have both carved early just like you. I don't think they're quite as protective as you. Anyway, she's got a bull calf. Her other bull calf was winged just the other day. We won't go in there. She's protective. Hey, my girl. But she replicated herself now twice. In her daughter and her granddaughter. She has also a daughter to the old gogo -go cow there. By the way, the old gogo -go cow, that's her 15th calf there. 2008 model and still in good form and I expect to get two or three more calves out of her. All going well. This is also one of her daughters and or granddaughters. But offspring of hers. And here she is. She's a 22. She carved early, like the rest of the family. And as we can see here, she's starting to get ready to carve again. And I anticipate that she will have carved twice in the same year because this this little heifer of hers was born this year and here she is displaying that she's going to be carving more than likely for the second time in the in the same year again are we not looking at functional efficiency and adaptability now i'm not advocating that everybody go and put the bull to yearlings um, circumstances vary but that is what I'm doing and if you're in a position to do so I highly recommend it and select for functional efficiency and the good thing about if a heifer does conceive too early as what people might say call it and is not able to be a good mother and doesn't have sufficient milk well, that's 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 uh, assistance in selection. That one's out, and at least it happens early on in the game. But then there are those that can. Now, let's just look at the mathematics and eco economic value of aging uh, of carving early. Remember I said, if one cow, how many will there be in 10 years if she's a three-year-old, she, if she calves it for the first time at three years of age? One cow will become 18 over a 10-year period if she calved for the first time at three years of age. And every second... Uh, Every second calf was a, a female. But look, let's look at it. The maths on if that cow calved at two years and replicated herself. If she calved at two years and replicated herself in a 10 year period, one becomes 55. That's almost three times as much. That is absolutely amazing and it pays, considering that it pays to identify the functionally efficient animal and in order to get a functionally efficient animal we need a well adapted animal because it's only through the well adapted that we get the functional efficiency that we need. So yeah. I think that is some um, interesting maths. Anyway, here they are. And I just thought I'd share that. It's 
hot and I don't have my sun my hat on. I need to get into the shade. Yeah, they will all take care.